Hey, what's happening, guys? Welcome back. Let's talk about a fantasy matchup between Yaria Rodriguez and Conor McGregor at 145 pounds. After Rodriguez beat Jeremy Stevens, he's been campaigning for a fight with McGregor. So let's talk about how these guys match up. Yaria Rodriguez is 5 foot 10 and a half. He has a 71 inch reach. His style is a mixture of Taekwondo, boxing, and wrestling. He has a black belt in Taekwondo. His MMA record is 13 wins, 2 losses, 1 no contest. Right now he's currently ranked number 6 in the UFC featherweight rankings. Yarir also won the Ultimate Fighter Latin America. Very talented fighter, super diverse on the feet, creative, about as skilled standing as you can get. His wrestling and ground game is coming along slowly. Yarir is a very tough fighter and I would say he's a solid contender to the belt. Conor McGregor's 5'9 with a 74 inch reach. He primarily wins his fights with his hands boxing, but he does utilize kicks. He has a brown belt in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. He is the former featherweight and UFC lightweight champ, first dual active champ. Right now, McGregor's number three in the UFC lightweight rankings. He hasn't competed in featherweight since 2015. McGregor has a free flowing fight style. As I stated, he primarily boxes. He incorporates kicks to make openings for his hands, has shown a ground game, but definitely his stand-up is his bread and butter. In McGregor's last fight, he lost to Khabib Nurmagomedov via submission neck crank in the fourth round. So how would a match between Conor McGregor and Yaria Rodriguez possibly go at featherweight? I'm going to say that I personally favor McGregor in this fight. I don't think this fight will ever materialize because I just don't see Conor returning to featherweight. He's gotten too big and that weight cut has looked brutal for him. But for argument's sake and for the video's sake, let's say he does make featherweight again and he does fight Yarir. I think Conor has too much power for him. Yarir might be more skilled and more diverse. His kicks are powerful, but his punches don't seem to have a ton of snap on them. Conor does utilize kicks himself, not as effective as Yarir. The footwork, I would probably give a slight edge to Yarir Rodriguez, but Connor moves very well himself. I think Connor could take Yarir down if he chooses. I'm not sure if Rodriguez could take McGregor down. I think he has pretty underrated takedown defense, and I think he would be considerably stronger than Yarir. I wouldn't count Rodriguez out in this fight, definitely not, but I think Connor would be too strong for him, too much power. I think McGregor has more experience fighting at a higher level. Rodriguez has beaten BJ Penn. But Penn, as we know, is well past his prime. A win over Jeremy Stevens is pretty solid. Dan Hooker is also a good win. But if you compare their records, Connor has fought multiple champs, tough champs, contenders, and top tens. Yeah, fighting at a higher level, I'd say Connor has done that. That certainly is a factor. So, final pick for this fight Connor McGregor to win at Featherweight against Yaria Rodriguez. Could he win by stoppage? It's highly possible since this fight will primarily be striking in my opinion. But you guys let me know what you think in the comment section who would win this fight. I know Rodriguez has developed some wrestling skill, also ground skill, but I don't think it would be enough to dominate McGregor in those areas. And like I said, he has underrated takedown defense. It would be crazy if this fight went down, highly unlikely, but still fun to talk about. Thanks for watching the video guys. If you enjoyed it, click that subscribe button, like and share. It helps the channel grow. Truly appreciate it. And I'll catch you all on the next segment.